Well, hello, everybody. Uh, here we are in 2021, and uh, one of our first visitors and uh, guests is the North Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, represented by the chair, Dan Cahill, and CEO Brent Cooper. So thanks, gentlemen, for taking a few minutes today. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Well, I'm going to let you lead right into you, uh, gentlemen. Uh, you lead a great organization, uh, business and, and partners in the region, uh, and uh, we've, we're, we're coming into 2021. Uh, of course, we all would have loved to have saw, thought, hey, all of the bad things of 2020 are over and we're on a new year, fresh year. We're a fresh year, but we're still dealing with COVID and challenges in the business community, et cetera. So I'm going to let you, Dan, uh, talk about now this transition of the, the year and what does that mean to the North Kentucky Chamber of Commerce? Great, thanks. So I guess I would start it off by saying this, you know, we've we pretty much are staying the same strategic course that we have as last year, but the way these different pillars of stra and strategies are evolving are way beyond what we ever would have contemplated, but I think also much more successful than we ever would have contemplated, right? I think, you know, the best a community can ask for is they've got all their community assets sort of working together and functioning well together. And I mean, I think that's clearly the case here. And, and we'd like to think the chamber is contributing to that as well. So, um, I, so three things that we're really focused on, and then I'll just move it to Brent to let him fill in the blanks on how some of these things are happening tactically. But, you know, the first thing we're always focused about is increasing our reach and our market share. Um, and the way we've been able to communicate and coordinate with everybody is, has been terrific. So I'll let um, uh, Brent talk about, you know, him and the staff have really, um, you know, sort of evolved that thinking. And then the second thing would be around high impact events. Um, so we talk a little bit about getting people together, making them aware about all the different programs and all the different assets available to them as we're going through the pandemic. And then finally, and I think probably the most important is just us as a community, as Northern Kentucky, communicating with one voice. Um, certainly we're a part, and, and that includes sort of carving out some of that greater Cincinnati piece and, mm -hmm. you know, coordinating our community assets, but so that when we're working with Frankfurt, when we're working nationally, that all of us are in lockstep around what our needs are and what needs to be done. So I don't know, Brent, maybe if you could fill us in on some of the specifics around some of those initiatives. Yeah, absolutely. So some of the things we've been working on uh, right now, we're in the throes of trying to understand the vaccine distribution and how that's gonna play into the economy. Um, over the last, gosh, it seems like 10 years, but I guess it's only been 10 months, uh, we've been communicating on issues for businesses to survive the pandemic. How do, how do we maneuver through this? Um, those advocacy efforts and conversations all led into the COVID relief package that just came out. So we're trying to help businesses understand how they can take advantage of the, the pay Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP, um, and all the different ways that, that, that they can help survive this thing. Um, and then we're, we're advocating down in Frankfurt every day right now, um, talking about transportation, childcare, the unemployment insurance, legal liability protections, all the things that are impacting businesses day to day. Um, so we, what we've seen is throughout this past year, leading into 2021, our restaurant relief efforts, helping champion uh, local grants and, and assistance. Thank you, Kenton County and Covington and and so many others in Northern Kentucky that have stepped up to help businesses along the way. Those are things that we do all the time as part of what we do at the Chamber of Commerce. And from a programming perspective that you mentioned, I look at our women's initiative, the growing regional outcomes through Workforce Grow NKY, um, our leadership programs, Leadership Northern Kentucky Regional Youth Leadership. These are all community mainstays or things that our community needed uh, to have happen, especially during the pandemic. And so we've been very proud that we've been able to continue those virtually. I know coming up February 2nd, we've got our leader uh, uh, women's uh, breakfast, the annual breakfast. We had 800 people in the room last year, but we so we know it's gonna be very well virtually attended. So that's coming up. We're starting to get nominations again for outstanding women. We, have over, we had over 8,000 people view that virtually last summer. Um, and we're now getting uh, nominations to recognize businesses in the community for our business impact award. So those are all impactful programming things that we're doing and as you mentioned, speaking with one voice, that's all about our advocacy efforts. So those are that's just sort of a quick overview of all the different things that are going on at the chamber these days. Uh, obviously, we're we're keeping busy. Well, and you guys, you know, these are obviously some of the goals that have been there in 2020, right? Uh, I think we talked about this last time. As Dan, uh, you've agreed to stay on as chairman the extra year, um, so that you have this continuation and really are able to implement in a real and life. Uh, 
the actual, some of the things you're trying to accomplish. But, you know, let's go back to the challenges of COVID and, and the dealings mm -hmm. of this, uh, and obviously without maybe names, but, you know, for those who are not aware of the business impact of Northern Kentucky, you know, people, what are, the, what are some of the impacts you see from the, some of the businesses in a, in a positive way uh, to get through this pandemic, some of the actions they've had to take and uh, taking stories that you see them uh, kind of working through this challenge. And I'll ask, maybe I'll ask you, Dan, first of all, if you know the stories. Yeah, so, I mean, you're talking about the positive impact, Chris. I mean, kind of focusing on that. It's the, um, you know, I, I think you're right. We're, we're aware of some of the negative impacts. And, you know, as the chamber, we're, we're constantly advocating and fighting for these individuals because, I mean, you know, I think all of us, even on this video, are entrepreneurs in some way or another and know how difficult and hard that is and, and what have you and all the obstacles to overcome and then a pandemic gets in the way. So um, we are aware of some of the very, very tactical issues, many of which Brent mentioned that are, you know, that these, you know, unsung heroes are really dealing with day, day in and day out. Having said that, there are a number of really positive inspirational stories as well, um, where we have manufacturing facilities that have repurposed or because of the market have been able to really be successful in this market and are continuing to hire and are continuing to, um, you know, surprise us and thrive in ways we have not talked about. I think of um, some, you know, businesses, which I'll, I'll let Brent speak to some other, but one that comes to mind is the airport. Um, I mean, so much for us to be thankful for around Northern Kentucky and the airport is the centerpiece of one of those because of all of the freight and all of the different logistics work that they do while the passenger traffic has, has dropped precipitously and Candace and her team have done a fantastic job of managing all of that. You know, the logistic continues to be strong and will really help us bounce back quickly coming out of this. So um, you're exactly right, Chris. There's some really great stories there. Brent, I'll let you uh, weigh in as well. Yeah, and I'm really glad you mentioned the airport because I do think uh, with cargo being up, uh, that our airport is help is poised to help us come out of this pandemic even stronger. I think our region is going to come out of this very strong once the vaccine is distributed and, and we sort of get back to the normal that we had seen pr pr prior to the pandemic. Just a couple of stories that, that I, I've seen over, during the course of the pandemic. A lot of places stepped up on the restaurant relief effort that we did, Triad, Horizon Funds, uh, did that jointly with the Northern Kentucky Chamber. But we have places like Main Street Ventures and all these different um, entrepreneurs that, that contributed to those funds to help people uh, survive this. One quick story was Bean House in Covington. Uh, they used that grant money that they received to buy an ice cream machine. And then they changed their hours and were able to survive and not just survive, but thrive through this. Um, and there were other places like OKBB, Old Kentucky Bourbon Bar, one of my favorite places, you know, they couldn't be open. So it struggled, they struggled for a while. But having those gift cards, having the PPP, having the assistance, help them get through it. And, you know, in Braxton and other places. So, you know, there's some good heartwarming stories, but at the same time, it's just been a real struggle for so many businesses in the region. And that's why we have a Chamber of Commerce to help them through that. So I've been really, really glad to be in this role to help people, you know, get through it and to communicate with community partners like the counties, like the cities, like our health department and so forth. We just did an update yesterday on the vaccine distribution. And we're trying to get people around the thought of, for their businesses to think about, be ready for it, be, be patient, be flexible. Um, but if you're a small business and 1100 members of ours are 50 employees or less, they're not gonna be able to have all their employees get the vaccine on the same day. Some of them are gonna have an adverse reaction. You know, they're not terrible, they're aches and pains. They'll, it's 24 to 48 hours, it's not a big deal for a minority of people. But for, for those people, they may not be able to function the next day for work. So the small business has got to think that through on how to stagger that out. Those are the kinds of conversations we're having at the chamber every day to try to help businesses through it. Well, as you all are looking into 2021, um, let's speak to that for a second. You know, let's get, go fast forward a couple months. Uh, vaccinations are plentiful and uh, the news is all good. Um, I, I'd like to be an optimist here, right? Um, you know, you're hoping to have the events live sometime, probably summertime, I guess, or afterwards. Walk through that a little bit. And um, I'm assuming you're hoping to have the biggest annual uh, dinner for the chamber ever. And <laughs> that's everybody's going to be totally ready for celebration. But speak to that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Annual dinner will be in person this year. And again, I'm, I'm with you. I'm an optimist. I'm hoping that these vaccines come out 
and, and even quicker than, than we anticipated. Right now, we're hearing March, April-ish timeframe for the majority of our uh, essential businesses and, and maybe a little longer for the, for the overall population. But by summer, we're hoping that, that things will be back to in-person for the Chamber of Commerce. And that's what we're anticipating. And with so many things, think about this in Northern Kentucky, we've got the ovation, the new music venue, we've got the Newport on the levee, we've got all these housing developments. We've got the IRS site right, right here in Covington uh, in Kenton County. And then there's the, the airport, the things happened on with Amazon, all the growth. So I think we're really poised uh, to come out of this very strong. And I'm, I'm personally very excited for the future. This has been a, a struggle for everybody, but the, but the sunshine is coming. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And probably we, we, we'd be remiss if we didn't say this. We have obviously total respect for the fact we've got to get from where we are to there. And that means while we've got the infection rates going up, we got to be smart and uh, use our heads about it to get us to get everybody through that uh, this next couple of months, right? So, so everybody can grow their business, keep people employed, keep the economy booming. So that's what we all want. With this wrapping up, uh, any final words of wisdom, Dan? Yeah, I mean, Chris, I'll just pony off of what Brent shared to say this. You know, through the programs and the experts that we get to, you know, engage in the chamber work, present to our board and others. Um, the experts, especially the financial experts, are expecting a slope up in the economy coming out of this, right? Um, and I, I, you know, you've heard some of that optimism just around this group, but um, it is coming. You know, it is coming. Um, I, I don't think we have any doubt. And Chris, I think your your warnings and sort of you know some of this cautious and uh, optimism and you know precautions that we need to take in the short term are important because I think they will feed you know that success that we'll start to see once we we get around midsummer midsummer or so. So the the thing that I would share is is I have witnessed you know all of our community assets. I know you and the other judges are are very humble and not self-grandizing and all of that, but the contributions you've made, um, as Brent mentioned, these other just individual contributors, the way Northern Kentucky has come together, um, we are so incredibly poised for success. And I just, I hope that all of the folks that are watching this recognize how lucky they are to be in our region. Um, just between the assets that we have, the community yeah. leadership that we have, um, it has been truly an inspiration watching everybody navigate this whole thing. And I think we are pleased to be successful coming out of it as much as any community in the United States. So congratulations to all the leaders and we'll look forward to seeing everybody in person when we can. Amen. Brent, Dan, thanks so much for your time and best of luck. And we'll be back in touch soon and hopefully continue to celebrate the great successes of Northern Kentucky. Thank you, Judge. Sure.